we'll be taking a look at the software that at one time used to be very popular and let you know about PC programs that have replaced them, offering a better user experience overall. First of which is third-party antivirus software. Starting in the 80s, up until about seven or eight years ago, having a third-party antivirus on your computer, like McAfee, was essential to keep it safe from viruses and malware. Other big players over the years that you may have had installed at one time include Norton Antivirus, Avira, Avast, AVG, and many others, some of which may have come pre-installed when you bought a new computer. Nowadays, Microsoft Defender, for most people who stay away from risky behavior online, this will be a better solution. The dirty secret many tech websites or blogs won't tell you because they don't want to lose their affiliate earnings is that when compared with other free and paid third-party antivirus offerings in testing, Defender is now on par or exceeds most of the others in detections while utilizing less resources. Defender is already built into the Windows security app, offering real-time protection, various ways to scan for threats, and also offers protection from ransomware. As I've mentioned several times over the years, because Microsoft Defender and the other antivirus solutions are not perfect, Malwarebytes is good to have installed as a backup to possibly find what the others might have missed if you think your computer is having a problem. Unlike most of the others, it won't interfere with the antivirus you currently have active on your PC. From the late 1990s, throughout the early 2010s, Fraps was one of the most popular screen capture and screen recording programs available, especially with gamers, to record their games and post them on YouTube. It's still available with both free and paid plans, but has not been updated since 2013. Nowadays, if you want to record your screen for any purpose, or stream live to places like Twitch, YouTube, and many others, OBS Studio is the best. It's completely free and open source. It's actually what I'm using right now to record this video. It's quite powerful. It lets you create an unlimited number of scenes, an audio mixer is built in, and its settings panel includes tons of options to set it up how you want it. OBS Studio is updated on a regular basis, and it's available for all three of the major platforms, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Skype from Microsoft was once a popular program for holding video conferences and voice calls. Released in 2003, it's still around, but it's outdated, lacking features found in its competitors, and it's expected to be discontinued in the next few years. The logical replacement for those of you that want to stay in the Microsoft ecosystem is Microsoft Teams, which had its initial release in 2017. In addition to all the features that Skype has, it's also great for collaborating with others within your business, school, or any other purpose. Microsoft Teams does offer a generous free plan that allows for up to 60-minute group calls with up to 100 participants. Also included is unlimited chat with family and friends and five gigabytes of cloud storage. To get additional features, plans start at around $7 per month. CCleaner is a program that's long outlived its usefulness. PCs running Windows 10 and Windows 11 do a great job with the tools to help keep your system optimized. I've mentioned this on many occasions, but many tech websites like PC World still continue to recommend CCleaner. I'm guessing they're getting paid or just plain naive. Among their numerous issues, of which there are too many to mention, they were also caught up in a major data breach late last year, exposing its customers' names, contact information, and details about the products they had purchased from the company. If you feel that you must use a cleaning utility app, check out Microsoft PC Manager. It's available in the Microsoft Store, and it's actually made by Microsoft. It features storage cleanup and management, along with a one-click PC boost. WinZip is a trialware, file archiver, and file compressor. It's been around since the early 1990s. If you're running Windows, it's no longer needed. At this time, WinZip is available with a 21-day free trial, after which its pricing starts at around $35. For most Windows users, WinZip is no longer needed with the standard zip functions built into the operating system, especially with the ability to extract a zip folder included. And if you need more functionality than what's available in Windows, there's 7-Zip, which is completely free and open source. It works with Windows 11, along with its other operating systems, going all the way back to Windows 2000. Thanks for watching. Links to the software recommended are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What programs do you think are outdated and what would you replace them with? Let me know in the comments.
And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click that notification bell to not miss out on the latest tech-related stuff.